Hello, I'm Robin Henning, and welcome to another Exchange Life Nugget of Truth. Have you ever been so overwhelmed by the Lord that you've broken into spontaneous worship? That is exactly what happened to the Apostle Paul halfway through his letter to the Ephesians. He had just finished up writing about the amazing dimensions of the love of God, the, the length, width, breadth, and height of God's love, and how he's praying for them to be able to understand this and comprehend what God has done for them. He's so amazed by this that he launches into worship with some verses that we're very familiar with, a couple of my favorite verses. He says, Now unto him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond all that we can ask or think according to the power that is at work within us, to him be the glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. What a glorious benediction halfway through that letter. Beloved, we serve a God who is limitless. His power to transform lives, limitless. His power to heal, limitless. His power to redeem, limitless. Our problem is that we think too small. We have a small view of God. We have a small view of His power. We have a small view of His love. Why would He want to do that for me? He doesn't want to do anything for me. I'm such an idiot. Why would He do this for me? So we think small, small, small because of scarcity. We're aware of the lack in our life when we think and compare ourselves to the law as opposed to receiving God's grace, which shifts us over to abundance. When we really learn to rest in His love, beloved, when we begin to understand all that He's done for us, the dimensions of His love, our mind is going to be blown away. We're going to begin to realize, wait a minute, the Lord is my shepherd, and because of this, I have absolutely no lack. I lack for nothing. I have abundance. He wants to work in us exceedingly beyond all that we could ever ask or imagine. And so those of us who are willing to empty of our own self-will and align ourselves with God's will, and we're in for a wild ride. I've been seeing that even this week. I'd love to be able to tell you about it soon. Some incredible announcements are coming of what God is doing. Now, our God is the one, who, the same one, who fed over 5,000 people with two fish and, what was it, five loaves? Something like that. A little bit, one kid's lunch, fed over 5,000 people. That's the God we serve. We need to stop leaning on our own understanding that makes our God small because we don't have that big enough of a brain to see what He can do, and it leads us into lack, scarcity. He can't do this. He's not going to do this. He's not going to do this for me. This is crazy. Why should I ask big? Instead, we need to, number one, we need to empty of our own self-will. Number two, we need to ask Him what He wants to do. And we need to be still and listen. We need to develop our spiritual hearing. We have eyes that need to see, ears that need to hear what He's doing, how He wants to solve the problem. And when we listen to His reply, sometimes we're going to filter it and say, that's just nuts. I've been there. I have told Him, I'm not proud of this. I have told God that He's crazy. It's not a good thing to do. I don't recommend it. Instead, we need to listen in faith. When I told God he was crazy, I was not believing that he could do what he said he was going to do in and through me. It was unbelief that responded in lack. Beloved, he wants us to function from abundance. Remember, Jesus came to give life and life what? Abundantly. When we're resting in his grace, abundance is going to happen. Remember what Paul talks about to the Corinthians, where he's, he's rejoicing in the grace of God and its sufficiency. He's going to boast in his weakness. Because where, his, where he's lacking, God's filling. When I bring to the table is so little compared to what God does and he pours into me his grace and the abundance overflows. Same thing for us when we're going before the Lord. We're asking, we're seeking, we're aligning with him and his will and then we're going to ask big. We're asking bigly in faith. In faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Not faith in ourselves. He will step us out there to make us ask big in such a way that it's like, this is only God. Exactly. He loves to show off for his kids. What decent parent doesn't love to give gifts to their kids and the bigger the better? 
The same thing for us and God, he loves to show off. He loves to show us the amazing dimensions of his love. He's waiting for us to not trust in ourselves, to not lean on our understanding, to, to acknowledge him. And he's going to show us how to ask and ask big because we serve an amazing God who delights in giving big things to his kids. So, beloved, I hope that you will allow the Lord to expand your understanding of his love for you, that you'll come to rest in that love. You'll come to receive the abundance of his life, and you'll align with his path, and you'll ask big, because our God is able to do exceedingly abundantly beyond anything we could ask or imagine. We serve an amazing God, beloved. Worship him this week. I hope this encourages you. I hope you have a blessed week in Jesus. We'll see you next time.